right, boys. So we completed Sins of the Father. A miserable quest, if you ask me. But now we have access to the dope-ass city of Darkmire, and more importantly, the Hallowed Sepulchre. For those that don't know, the Hallowed Sepulchre is a new agility minigame, which means new rewards. There are some pretty awesome rewards for this game, but the one we're after is this, the Dark Die. It costs 300 Hallowed Marks per piece, and we need six total to get full Black Graceful. But before we get started, I wanted to show you guys this. We got our hands on a Blood Shard and made an Amulet of Blood Fury. Just look how sick this looks. It has the same stats, but it just looks so much better. I can't wait to use it. All right, this is me talking from the future. Um, if you know anything about the Hallowed Sepulchre, you know that my inventory is not well equipped to do this mini game. Uh, this was my first run through and I had no idea what was going on, but to give you guys a brief rundown, basically you run through and there's five floors. Each floor has an agility requirement before you can enter. Um, and if you are able to enter that floor, you will be faced with a series of obstacles that you will have to run through. While running through the floor, you will encounter one unique obstacle, which will allow you to access a coffin that you can search. When you search these coffins, you roll the table for some of the new rewards, including the Ring of Endurance and the Strange Old Lockpick, but most importantly, you get hallowed marks from these coffins. This is a safe mini game, As you can see, I just got hit by some of the flames and you will respawn at the beginning of that obstacle, not the beginning of the floor. If you were to die completely, you can claim your items from the weird guy in the lobby. I don't know what the fee is because I did not die during the making of this. I'd say if you were to die, you were doing something severely wrong because these obstacles only hit for threes and fours um, and you have plenty of time to, to eat food in between. Um, your runs. If you stick around till the end of the video, I will give some updated tips and tricks after doing this for 20 plus hours so that you guys can get a better idea of what you need to bring to the mini game and what to expect out of it. All right, we got our first set of 300 marks. Let's buy die number one. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's try it on. I wish it was a little darker, but not bad. And a million hours later, we are ready to buy die number two. Let's do the legs this time, see what the full body looks like. Looks good, still looks gray to me, but I guess they didn't call it Black Graceful, it's just called Hallowed. I like the look of it so far though. Alright, there's another black dye. Time to recolor the hood. Oh, dude, that looks sick. And we're actually gonna call it quits there because fuck doing that all over again. The Hallowed Sepulchre sucks, dude. Like, I, I don't know how I was able to do so many runs of it in such a short amount of time, but I'm glad it's over and the Black Graceful looks sexy as fuck, especially with some fashion scape in there too. Very, very happy with it. And also, when you add in the uh, Red Graceful boots, cape, and uh, gloves, it doesn't actually look that bad, so I'm happy with the way it looks right now. Also, you do get loot while doing the Sepulchre. Uh, it's not a lot, but for some passive agility training that I was gonna do anyway, 5.5 mil actually isn't that bad. Uh, the one mil cash was from lock picks that we sold. They were 250K each. It looks like they're already going down. I don't imagine they'll be at that price for long. All right, that's actually gonna do it for this one. Uh, if you wanted some tips and tricks, stick around till the very end of the video and I will go over as much as I have learned. Um, but for our next video, I'd like to see the Blood Fury in action. So since it's a tank amulet, we're going to do some max tank PKing and high risk worlds um, and see how it works out for us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Just in case you click this video hoping to get an idea of kind of how the Sepulchre works, um, I'll give you a quick rundown of my gear and um, the items in my inventory. 
So this is the only gear loadout that you should have. It should be full graceful. Gotta have the grapple and crossbow. The amulet of ghost speak is actually gonna be used because sometimes when you open a coffin, a ghost will pop out. And if you can't uh, understand what he's saying, you won't get any of the loot from the chest. And lastly, you need a uh, Ceridomen item so that you can recharge your run energy and the shield slot is the only remaining slot. Um, as far as the inventory goes, you're going to need um, basically everything so that you can cross these obstacles. As you're running through the sepulcher, you will encounter obstacles that you will need to get over so that you can open the coffins. One of them is a construction one, which is why we have the nails, the saw, the hammer, and the planks. I recommend bringing four planks because you use two per obstacle and you don't typically see more than two per run. Um, another one is going to be a uh, barrier where you have to sacrifice vampire dust to get across it. Um, and then you need two dust for that as well. Again, I bring four because you don't usually see more than two per run. Um, also bring enchant runes uh, to cast a high level enchant spell. I don't recommend doing Zenites. I did Onyx. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper and it doesn't typically fail. Um, and then the anti-poisons are just for sometimes if you're opening the chest, um, you can get poisoned if you fail to pick the lock. You don't really need any food throughout this. You can just, uh, there's a bank chest here, so you can just eat uh, between trips when you're banking. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Just follow the path and make sure you open every coffin that you see. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you enjoyed the video, show my channel some support, please uh, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. And I will see you guys next time.